This video will demonstrate how you can connect and receive data from your Soundia 3 device to the Soundia software via the local network using a Soundia micro PC and a local broker. You can either use a LAN Ethernet cable or the local Wi Fi network. Start by installing the software on the PC where you want to receive your measurements. The software is included on the USB memory stick. Open the software and click on the drop down menu set up in the left side menu and then on the menu cloud. You need to set a side ID to receive measurements from the Soundia 3. The side ID is a unique ID which pairs your software with your Soundia 3 devices and allows you to receive measurements in the software. As default, the side ID will be the PC's MAC address. For this video, we will use the site ID Soundia. Refresh rate is how often the Soundia software will be updated with LAEQ 1 second measurements. Use the arrows to choose your refresh rate. Here we will set the refresh rate to 5 seconds, meaning that every fifth second the software will be updated with LAEQ 1 second measurements from your Soundia devices. Mark the checkbox Local Broker, since we will use the local network for this demonstration. The software will automatically find the IP4 address for the network your computer is connected to. Type in your email address to receive a notification email if one of your Soundia 3 devices loses its connection to the software. Press Configure to save your settings. Now it is time to configure your device. Connect the device directly to the PC using the micro USB port in the Soundia 3 and the USB A port on your PC. A pop up will show on your screen. Choose the tap with the Wi Fi symbol to go to the right configuration window. Afterwards, name your device, set location. Set the alarm threshold and email address if you want to receive an alarm email if the set noise level has been exceeded. Here we will set it to send an alarm email if the noise level exceeds 60 dB for more than 5 seconds. In the next part we will set the communication path between the Soundia micro PC and the software. If you are not using a LAN connection but a wireless connection, check the box Wi-Fi and write the name and password for this network. If using a LAN Ethernet cable, leave the box Wi-Fi unmarked. The software will automatically connect to the network. If the box DHCP is marked, the software will automatically use the IP addresses for the network your PC is connected to. If you want to type in the information manually, unmark the box DHCP and type in the network information you want to use for your Soundia 3 device. All Soundia 3 devices will be matched with the receiving PC using the unique site ID you have set in the software, in this case Soundia. If needed, you can type in another site ID here. Leave the checkbox Local Broker marked. The software will automatically use the IP4 address your PC is connected to. You can find your IP address by going to Settings and click on the menu Network and Internet. Click View your network properties and find the network which you are using to make sure that the IP4 addresses match each other. Press OK. Your setup has now been configured. The software only allows one-way communication, so we recommend that you go to Define Settings and make your light settings for the device before hanging it on the wall. Connect the Soundia 3 to the micro PC using the micro USB port in the Soundia 3 and any of the four USB-A ports in the micro PC. Afterwards, connect the micro PC to its power adapter. Restart the software and click on Cloud Devices in the bottom of the left side menu. It can take up to two minutes before you receive measurements the first time you connect to the local broker. You will see that the column will switch from grey to green, indicating that the software is receiving measurements from your Soundia 3 devices. 
double click on the column to see a graph with live measurements for the chosen device. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please write us at soundia at soundia.com or go to our website soundia.com for more information.